Hi, I'm Tony Joe from Remax Camosun here in Victoria, British Columbia. Thanks very much for tuning in and watching our segments on our YouTube channel. This episode here, we're going to be talking about the MLS system and the information that is contained within it. So what is the MLS system? It is the multiple listing service or multiple listing system. And basically what it is, is it is a resource for member realtors to access, uh, to either gather information and gain information, uh, or to post their properties for sale, to make it available and accessible to all of the other licensed members in uh, the region as well too, in this particular case, Victoria. Um, one of the things that people often ask us is if they want to sell their property on their own, if they're a buy owner, can they have access to the multiple listing system? And the answer is directly, they cannot. They must do so through a member uh, of the real estate board or a realtor. Uh, some realtors, of course, uh, do what they call a mere posting, which is simply just posting the property on the MLS system uh, with the expectation that the seller will do the rest of the work. Uh, most agents actually do a full service type of affair where they take care of everything start to finish for a prescribed uh, fee. Anyways, that's not what we're talking about today so much as what is the MLS system? Well, in short, it's a bunch of data. It's data that's been collected uh, in the case of Victoria Real Estate Board, since about 1989, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of reported properties that have been listed for sale, uh, some that have not sold, many that have sold. And the information that we collect are things like the size of the property, the size of the house, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, configuration. Uh, we go as detailed as what the room sizes are uh, as far as uh, feet are concerned uh, in distance. Uh, we also go through things like uh, area, so square footage of the houses, uh, even things like uh, exposure, is it self-exposure yard, north exposure, uh, what the parking situation is. In the case of Stratas, we talk about whether there are bylaws prohibiting pets, whether there are rental bylaws, whether it's okay to have kids and families there. That's the information that we collect. Most importantly, what happens is when properties sell, the data is recorded. So for instance, when a property sells, what did it sell for? How many days on market did it uh, take to sell? Uh, and other information as well. That information is accessible by us in the real estate profession, but also by the British Columbia Assessment Authority, which provides the calculation for your property taxes every year. And also too, by appraisers, bank appraisers. So if you are going to your bank, to refinance, in the case, uh, sometimes it's estates or estate sales, they'll send a certified appraiser through. The appraiser and the assessor accesses the real estate board information. So you can imagine without the MLS system and without the collection of the data, it'd be very difficult to determine value. The MLS system um, provides other things too as far as marketing is concerned. Uh, agents are able to post photographs, they're able to post information, things like virtual tours. Uh, you can find out what the taxes are for the property and that has to do with the reciprocal agreement that we have with the assessment authority of course uh, and a whole host of other things. So in short when you hire a professional real estate agent you're not only hiring their skills as a negotiator, uh, as a marketing expert, as someone who will manage your file from start to finish but you will also have access to uh, a lot of information that you cannot find on the publicrealtor.ca site. And that is a site that you've probably gone to visit. Some people think that is the MLS system, but it's not. It's actually a watered down public version. Uh, and one of the other things that I should mention too is sometimes sellers wonder why their property hasn't been um, uh, uploaded on realtor.ca uh, immediately. Uh, and the reason being is all of the 98 real estate boards have to upload their information to realtor.ca. It can take a day, uh, sometimes longer over weekends as well too. So that's just a little tip for you. Uh, again, just wanted to share some thoughts and information about the MLS system with you. My name is Tony Joe. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please be sure to watch more of the videos that we have here on our YouTube channel. And feel free to give me a call or email at any time if you have any questions.